a very good morning students in this short video i will tell you about <coughs> the capillaries okay the structure of the capillaries and what are their different types okay so i am moving to the next slide now let us see first what are the capillaries capillaries are the network of the blood vessels which connect an arteriole and the venules by this time you must be knowing that a arteriole is the terminal part of the arterial system of the blood vessels when artery become the smallest part that means around 20 millimicron then all of sudden it breaks up into a network of the blood vessels this network of the blood vessel is called as capillaries and you should know that the capillaries are present almost everywhere in the body except at few place which i am going to tell you just now so these capillaries are the network of the blood vessel as it is shown in this diagram where i am just moving my pointer here and then you can see that from this arteriole red color uh, blood vessel is arteriole it breaks up into the capillaries okay are the network of the smaller blood vessels which inter anastomose are joined with each other to form the network the other end of the capillaries becomes the venule okay or the beginning of the vein okay these two different colors are shown towards the arterial end it is the arterial blood and then exchange takes place between the uh, blood vessels of capillaries okay and to the surrounding tissue and then it becomes a venous blood which is rich into the carbon dioxide okay and the waste material and which is shown here into the blue color so this is the structure of a capillary now if you see the diameter of a capillary okay then it is about 6 to 8 micron in diameter and these capillaries they are responsible for supply the oxygen and nutrition to the surrounding tissue cells okay these capillaries are present as i said in almost every tissue of the body okay except at very few places where capillaries are absent these are the epithelium number 1 you should note down number 1 the epithelium which are surface lining of the cell are not having the capillaries similarly the cornea of our eyeball is also not having the capillaries otherwise it will interfere with the passage of the light rays similarly the lens of the eyeball okay and the cartilages which are present in various parts of our skeletal system the various type of cartilages they are not having the blood vessels where it may be high line elastic or the fibro cartilage okay the the cells chondrocytes and the ground substance of the cartilage they get the oxygen and the nutrition by the method of the diffusion okay now what are the types of the capillaries let me first is com complete the structure of the capillaries in this adjacent diagram which is shown here you are seeing a cross section of the capillary okay and in this capillary the wall of the capillary is a continuous layer see here the in the pink color these are the squamous cell which are called as the endothelial cells here in this capillary the complete lumen or the diameter is formed by only two cells okay this is the nucleus of the endothelial cell the cytoplasm and this is the second endothelial cell the, the two endothelial cells have formed the lumen of this capillary because i said the diameter of the capillaries are hardly 6 to 8 millimicron okay now then this endothelial cells they rest on the basal lamina and within this basal lamina okay there may be the presence of the pericytes and what are pericytes pericytes are contractile cells okay and they send their process and when they contract they may regulate the lumen of the capillary so they are similar to the 
if i mean say the muscle cells because they are contractile in nature so these are the pericytes okay in this capillary if you see remember your histological structure of the blood vessels that is the artery or the vein then you will realize that there is absence of the tunica media and tunica uh, adventitia thus in capillary there is only the tunica intima or the endothelial cells resting on to the vessel lamina so it is the simplest structure is seen in the capillary if we see the types of the capillary then there are three different types of capillary a continuous capillary fenestrated and the sinusoid we will learn about these three different types of the capillary now this is the first type of capillary which is most abundantly found in our body and this is the continuous type of the capillary in this type of capillary the lining of the epithelium forms a continuous tube okay as we have already seen the structure of a capillary there are the tight cell junction between the endothelial cell nothing can pass between this junctional complexes of the endothelial cell then the diffusion whatsoever of the nutrients and the gases which takes place is through this cytoplasm of the endothelial cells okay the these cells they as they rest on the basement membrane okay which may also show the pericytes okay friends so the as a rule since there is no gap is there between endothelial cell there is always uh, a trans endothelial transport occurs and this transport is of the tissue fluid between the plasma and the mm, and that of the uh, plasma which is flowing through that of the capillary okay now as i said that the contractile element is only the pericyte now i said you that the capillaries of this type that is continuous capillaries they are found okay in most of the tissues of our body for example this type of the capillaries are seen in muscle brain connective tissue skin and that of the lung tissue i will go to the now the next slide where we will see the second type of the capillary now this type of the capillary is the fenestrated type of the capillary in this type of capillary plasma membrane of the endothelial cell shows the circular pores okay see this is the same endothelial cell as was in continuous is lining to the capillary lumen are forming the diameter here but in this case there in the plasma membrane okay there are the small pores okay and this small pores they are about 17 to 100 you know nanometer okay they are of size of the nanometer not of the millimicron that you should differentiate very small size 17 to 100 and these pores they are not through and through okay openings are there but they are guarded by a thin lamina or a layer of the diaphragm okay so there is they are the gap is filled by the diaphragm you can see here there is not continuous these diaphragms are present okay so the pores are closed by the diaphragm so the diffusion takes place through this diaphragm and since it has to go through the diaphragm not going through the plasma membranes okay and the cytoplasm of the endothelium hence this diffusion is very quick okay is fast diffusion in comparison to that of the continuous capillary the diffusion become fast and this is the reason that this kind of capillary is found in those tissues of the body where we need the fast transport okay uh, that is this is found in the pancreas which is a kind of the endocrine gland islets of langerhans okay the other endocrine glands they are well also contain the fenestrated capillaries intestinal villa from where lot of the i mean say nutrients and the water is absorbed then it is in the renal glomeruli where the filtrate of the glomerular filtrate okay which hmm, goes and forms okay liters and liters of the glomerular filtrates are there going into the uh, tubules okay 
and then there is this type of the capillary fenestrated are also found in choroid plexus where the cerebrospinal fluid is formed so where the fast transport is needed between the cell and the surrounding tissue then this kind of the fenestrated capillaries are seen in our body now the third type of the capillary is the sinusoid sinusoids are not of the narrow diameter as we have seen in case of the other type of the capillaries where diameter was 6 to 8 millimicron but here the diameter is 30 to 40 micron very wide and then they are of irregular shape one of the end of this irregular shape sinusoid is connected to the arteriole and another to the venule that's why they are also a special kind of the capillaries okay now here the lining endothelial cells contain also the some different kind of cell called as the phagocytic cell not only endothelial cell but in between the endothelial cells are the phagocytic cell which will engulf or with it uh, any foreign particles bacteria uh, or other debris okay now there are large pores okay and these pores are different pores as compared to that of fenestrated capillary and the difference is that they are not guarded by the best i mean say the diaphragm there is absolutely no diaphragm even at some places there is also they are these pores are also not guarded by the basal lamina so there is a through and through okay opening is there okay and that's why the passage of the fluid between the tissue fluid and that of the plasma which is circulating through this sinusoid becomes very fast okay it becomes very and this kind of the so capillaries will definitely found in those tissues of the body hmm, where the transport is very quick for example the liver sinusoids okay then the blood vessels of the i mean capillaries sinusoidal capillary of the bone marrow in the spleen in the anterior pituitary and the adrenal gland where the exchange is very fast so what we learn in this short video was the structure of capillary then we have learned also the three different types of the capillaries which are found in our body thank you very much for watching this video